last time I showed you guys how to set the color of folders for organization and ease of knowing what you're working on. But this time I want to show you some blueprint editor tips and tricks to increase your workflow. So what I'm going to do is simply create a blueprint class, just, just an actor class, and I'm just going to open it. And I want to show you guys some tips and tricks that are going to hopefully increase your workflow. Anyways, quickly let me introduce myself, Insomnia from Unreal Tech, a division of Blender Tech, and welcome to another video. If you enjoy it or learn it, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Unreal, Blender, coding, and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So let's jump right into it. So there's all sorts of hotkeys that I've come across. Of course, the first one I came across is F7 to compile. You can see that compiles right there. Of course, we have the common holding down B and clicking for a branch. And then if you connect the wire, you can always delete the wire by going to one of the execution nodes, holding down Alt and clicking on the arrow, and that will delete the wire. And that comes in very handy, and that also works for any wire, not just execution wires on that matter. Another handy thing, if you've got something that you've created and you've collapsed it down into a graph. I'm going to collapse these nodes into a graph. I'm just going to call it collapse nodes 01. Now what I can do is just hit page down and it brings up this little navigate to graph and you see I've collapsed nodes 01 and if I click it, I navigate into it. So that one can come in useful sometimes. Here's another one. Of course, you have your typical zoom in and out. But let's say you had something built up. A little trick I found is you can select it. And if you hit the home key, home, it will zoom you into just that selection. So if I had this way over here, selected it, and I was zoomed in over here, and I hit home, it's going to zoom into just those nodes. Now on the topic of zooming, you can zoom in to level 1, that's 1 to 1, of course you got minus 12 is a minimum, but you can also force zoom by holding down control and zooming and then you get an even further zoom now that just makes it aliased in my opinion, but I'm sure there could be uses for that, but you can't unfortunately force zoom out, you can only force zoom in you get up to plus seven. Now, of course, we have control F to find something in your blueprint, such as that. But you can also hit control shift F, and that will find in any blueprint. As you can see, I've got branches all over the place, obviously. So that can be useful too. And you can hit find and curve blueprint only if you just have the find bar open. But if you don't have the find bar open, then that's a very handy way to find a, a variable or something in another in another graph, for example. Another useful one is when you're in a blueprint, if you hit control B, it'll bring you to wherever it is in the content browser. So if I've got some other one open, hit, and then I'm in another folder, and I hit control B, it brings me right back to that folder with that blueprint in it. Um, of course, I'm sure you're all aware that you can mark key selection, but you can also hold control to deselect nodes and select, as well as shift click adds. And the same thing works while mark key selecting. So control obviously selects and deselects them. Same with shift. F9 is another handy one if you just want to toggle breakpoints when you're doing debugging. Now, here's one that can be tricky, but it can definitely come in useful. If you've got, let me make a macro really quickly, for example, to show it with a couple execute, or a boolean will work. If you've got a wire like so, we'll use our force zoom to get in a little closer. If you hold down control and left click on that wire, you can drag it to somewhere else without having without having to forcefully delete it and reconnect it. On that note, something that you may have come across but never noticed is if you hover over a, a pin for a second, you'll notice the wire 
that it's connected to highlights after about one second. This can become very useful if you've got spaghetti wire going everywhere. And lastly, I want to go off with what I find to be some of the useful. Um, I talked about holding down B and left clicking creates a branch. Um, C is obviously a comment, just, just selecting something and pressing C. Um, we also have D is a delay. Uh, F is a for each loop. Uh, I believe A is for an array get, yeah, an array get index node. You have um, G is a gate, and there's multi gate two that is M, I believe. And you also have, oh yes, S is sequence, as well as um, N is do N. So for doing something a certain number of times. And on that note, also O is just do once. That one I use a lot. And begin play. I don't know why they chose it, but that's P. I wish there was one for tick, but that's what we've got. If you come across any more, that would be great because that's all I've been able to find just clicking around on my keyboard. But anyways, that is all of the little tricks I have for blueprints. Hopefully that's some things to think about to increase your workflow. So that is all for today. Thanks again for watching from the team here at Unreal Tech, a division of Blender Tech. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're on social media on the links on your screen. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why so we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. We also take requests, so we'll see you next time. Remember, create your way.